Yo. Alright, guys. What is up, guys? What is up? You guys are tuning in. Say what's up in the chat. Um, We're about to check real quick. My apologies, guys. Hey, what's going on? If you guys are tuning in, say what's up in the chat, guys. Let me know that you guys are here. We're about to check to see if there's anything dropping around 10 a.m. on the Nike or the Sneakers app. Um, so tune in, guys. Tune in. Here we go. <laughs> Gotta rock the baby off the room now. All right, guys. Appreciate you guys for tuning in once again. Thank you, Marco. Saying good morning, chat. Good morning, guys. Good morning. We're just gonna be tuning in for quite just a tad bit. Nothing too crazy. We're gonna tune in till like probably 10 10 to see if there's anything dropping on sneakers potentially. And then if so, then we'll just go right at it. But um, yeah, we're gonna be talking about what's gonna be dropping later on, man. <laughs> Um, Silentic Sal says, "Yo, can you shout me out? I've been you, uh, I've been with you for a long time, and um, subscriber, a long time subscriber. Well, I'm shouting you out right now. So, shout us to Silentic. Uh, hopefully, I, I think that's how you pronounce it, Silentic. Um, shout us to you, bro. Thank you so much for uh, always, always tuning in, and as well as being subscribed. And appreciate you guys for tuning in." Once again, we made it to the 6K subscriber mark, guys, which is insane. We did it this morning. Big, big ups to everyone that's been supporting the channel, man. We really made it to six. Yeah, I think 6,020. Yeah, 6,020, man, subscribers or family members, as I like to call them. But thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. What are you guys up to? Um, still got about, like, what, 23 more minutes left. Um, I'm going to see if I can pull out some... Uh, some info when it comes to the raffles for the uh for the uh foam runners let me see my, my apologies guys i'm still a little bit kind of like waking up and stuff uh we went live around 3 a.m eastern standard time for the drop for europe um so that would be insane that 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 was insane we went live that early and it was crazy i was just like out of it but it was well worth it because uh you know we we went live for europe and a lot of people don't do that a lot of people do not go live for Europe, so I wanted to uh, take that responsibility and just try to see if I can uh, handle my own and handle for everyone else in Europe. And uh, I think it was great. I think it was a great live. I think I'm going to end up doing it again uh, this week. So we're going to see, man. We're going to see. Defend Individual Rights says, told you it would be 6K by Monday. Sheesh, you were right. And by the way, I just had some pizza and some of that pizza just flew off just now. But, uh. Appreciate you guys for tuning in, man, as always. As always. Uh, you're going to hit 10K in a month. Ah, It's going to be tricky. It's going to be hard. But we're going to see. We're going to see for sure. If you guys stay um, supporting as you guys always do, that's going to that's gonna be it. That's going to be it. It all depends on you guys. It's not so much me, but it depends on you guys. If you guys want to support, I think it's going to go even 10 times more faster when... Um, the whole family is supporting so appreciate you guys thank you guys so much man we're about to hit 10k in due time in due time appreciate the five thumbs up by the way guys uh good voice barbershop says another double l on sneakers again this morning listen a lot of people took l's this morning for the uh for the sbs for the sbs it was a lot a lot of l's um if you guys actually check we actually have stock numbers of what loaded up for the uh bubble gum pack and it was really really limited i'm not gonna lie it was like really really limited and uh, it was gonna be a tough cop regardless check this out guys so this is what looked like on the bubble on uh, on uh sneakers eu for the uh for the Mets dunk highs check that out this is what it was looking like not a lot of pairs not a lot of pairs for any size okay look at those sizes 48 and a half and 49 and a half 69 69 it's not a great number it's not a great number okay I'm telling you it's not a great number and then here you guys have the um the phillies dunk lows phillies dunk lows ended up having better numbers but it was still the most favorite out of the two <clears throat> 
Brussels, did did you on EU and how? Question mark. I went live for EU. Did I enter? I did not. But there is a way of entering without uh being in EU, and it's very easy. You just simply change your profiles and uh your region to whichever that which whichever uh region you want. In this case, I put UK, and um, it you can pretty much uh enter on the draws, but you have to have a a, a shipping address that's located whatever wherever spot you uh you put it as so if you're located in you in uk if you put the uh app that you're from uk you have to have a shipping address towards uk uh about the green beans though they look clean nice nice gabe says did you see the north bay supreme what you think um it's a little iffy uh it's a little iffy this week i, I was expecting a little bit more but there are some things that i do like about them i did see the slides the slides look pretty comfy in my opinion i think that i'm gonna go for the slides uh here they are right here the trekking sandals um i would want to see a side profile of these but i would go with the white ones i would go with this white uh this white pair of slides oh let me see if i can exit out of this zoom in out how do you guys feel about the supreme drop man let me know it's gonna be dropping this thursday 11 a.m eastern standard time man i also do like the pool floats these little donuts i dig it as well how do you guys feel about it uh, Bulldog says, good morning, brother. How could I miss that? Good morning, Bulldogs. Appreciate you for tuning in once again. Um, Elite Studio says, jeez. Um, Snick, uh, Snick Kick says, what is restocking? That's what we're about to find out because I'm not getting anything saying that it's going to restock or if anything is going to restock. But uh, we're about to see if there's anything loaded up on sneakers or something because it seems pretty freaking quiet, right? Seems pretty freaking quiet. So you never know. Just rather just go live. Say what's up to everyone and then see what drops around 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Appreciate you guys for tuning in once again. Please let me know in the chat what you guys are up to um, on this blessed Monday, man. For sure. For sure. Do you, are you guys still in school? Are you guys working? What's the vibes, man? I think this is just a routine for me now that I have to go live around this time just for the sneakers app and sneakers uh, uh, Nike app. Uh, let's see. Defense says those sandals look like they got cheap cardboard foam on the bottom. <laughs> Here's the thing though, like I I really mess with North Face, man, and that black pair right there looks slick. Do you guys see that? I feel like if I can rock, I think this would be a great at home slide. You feel me? Like that would be a great at home slide. The trekking sandals I already got uh, Crocs and everything, but if I want to switch it up a bit, I think that's pretty dope. Uh, these shorts right here are actually foldable. Look at this. It folds into a uh, a little bag. A packable bag, which is pretty dope as well. Do I like the colorways? I don't really like the green or the floral, but I do like the black and the white one. That's all right. That's all right. But again, nothing too crazy for uh, TNF this week, which is a little iffy, man. It's a little iffy. <laughs> just got a notification from nike let's see what the vibes are with that appreciate you guys for tuning in once again the bubblegum pack dropping so the bubblegum pack dropped this morning for eu right it was just the two pairs so knowing that they dropped those uh these two pairs right here it's gonna be very soon for us to receive um these two pairs as well it's just a matter of time but i can think i'm, I'm gonna predict that it's either gonna drop later this month or it's gonna be dropping next month one or the other but still they were very limited on uh sneakers and matter of fact prices from what it looks like did not tank as much as i was expecting them to after the release uh instead they actually went up just a tad bit from what it seems like so these should be doing just fine uh whenever it gets to the u.s they're probably going to be selling it on sneakers and on uh skate shops around us so definitely be asking your guys' local skate shops for uh when do you uh when they will receive shipments from uh for uh, the bubblegum packs. Uh, have you seen J4 Craft coming out 2023? No, I have not. Let me actually see. Or maybe I have. I just can't remember off the top of my head right now. Let's see. J4. I mean, Air Jordan 4 Craft. I feel like I have, though. Oh, yes, I have. Yes, I have. These are decent. <clears throat> I kind of like this colorway. And I like the little age sole right there in there. But yeah, definitely call them. Definitely call them, but fan favorite for me and always will be one of my faves are Military Blacks. I can't stop talking about them, man. I'm so happy. 
um, how do you get stock numbers for drops? Um, I can't really say on my end. I just know that I have a lot of sources that let me know what's going on. But usually you can just go and check out some cook groups. Maybe you have to pay a fee to, to get in and whatnot. But um, that's what we have this channel for. It's really not for uh, not to pay anything when it comes to knowing like info. So pretty much we made this channel for you guys to know what exactly is dropping for free and like, you know, doing things for the community and whatnot. So I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to bless up for you guys. But um, again, I don't I don't have any cook groups. I don't have um, a discord group or anything like that. So I can't really say on my end. I just know that I do have sources that let me know ahead of time. So uh, Tim Smith says TNF Supreme shirt is good for resale. Um, we can check it out. If they are dropping this TNF shirt, these TNF shirts, I think the black pair would be great, uh, great for resale. I think an all black shirt or a white, the white shirt, the red shirt, it's okay. But um, I don't know, man. It's just something about that all red uh, type of uh, vibe that I don't really like on that shirt. But I think that any TNF shirt will do you uh, like a decent chum change. That's like a quick flip in my opinion says he's back what's the drop uh we still don't know what exactly is dropping man i do know that there's like a lemonade dunk drop in somewhere but i think it's like an eu or that's for eu that is let me see actually if you guys check soul files it says something or soul links i should say it tells us something about it let me see do, 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 calendar what are we at 2206 oh wait a minute green apples or green apples already came out though i feel like 0601 yeah that's 0601 0602 we're on 0606 now so yeah from what it seems like 605 that happened yeah so that already happened yesterday so that was on slam jam too the only thing that dropped this morning or that's worthy of dropping were the um were the mob bubblegum packs which were these two now we're just tuning in to see if there's anything going to drop for us and see what's good with that <clears throat> uh sam says morning bro what's the potential restock question mark we don't we don't know i'm just saying i'm just checking in to see if there is going to be a, a potential shock drop or something seems pretty quiet today uh fenny says anything dropping today bro we're still unclear that's what we're going live for uh the oddball says that's cool also how are you doing uh what do you think of the of those dope air maxes on sneakers that are coming out on the 8th if you're talking about the casinas the casinas um i think well actually let's pull them up on nike casinas in my opinion are a really really nice air max one either i'm gonna be going for them i'm definitely gonna be going for them hopefully i can secure a pair i think they're gonna sell out so um i would very much uh keep that in mind that these should be selling out um i think i love i love this colorway more than the other colorway and but i do like the um outsole on the other on the other casino air max you see i like this outsole more i like the pinkish going, vibe going on but um i don't know what what the um what are these colorways called because they're only saying one ang on both of them i'm not so sure how to how to uh let me see mandarin ducks is there anything else mandarin dunks yeah so how can i how can i tell you guys which colorway these are when they're they're just saying it's the long ains i don't even know how to uh how to describe one uh one from the other or deficient deficient um let me see restock today question mark that's what we're about to see man Todd says uk got like 10k of sb lows on sneakers plus their skate shops i bet they get more overall stocks than us which is skate shops only it's unfair i mean todd it is what it is man um i think it it, it works vice versa it's like vice versa sometimes we get good gro uh, good drops with more stock than they do and sometimes they get more stock than we do it seems like uh it's unfair but it's honestly i think it's how it works here and there very very quiet today and tomorrow yeah that's why we're gonna always be tuning in even though there are quiet days just in case you know you never know what to expect whenever the uh things do drop because um we we, we just want to play it safe you feel me i used to just not even wake up and then i would wake up uh like an hour later after the drop and realize that there's something something that shock drop or something you know but it says very very quietly oh it says he says he's talking about cobblestones i believe oh wait you talking about cobblestones no i think no i think he's talking about um 
casinas but if you're talking about cobblestones dang 190 that's pretty pricey if you're talking about 190 that's pretty pricey i can see those Ooh, i kind of dig it though i kind of dig this suede going on how do you guys feel about cobblestones let me know what i cop i would not cop but i'm definitely digging that part definitely digging it uh brooklyn phones what is up what's good bg kicks rumors pandas restocking this month again yeah they're, they're gonna be restocking this month and next month we're just gonna know we just don't know when exactly they will as of right now that is as of right now we got about 10 more minutes guys to see what in fact will be dropping if you guys are new here please make sure you guys subscribe to the channel man we always stay going live even if there's no uh drop happening really we still go live just to tune in and check and we do everything together and we do try to touch bases on sneaker releases that will be dropping the um usually the upcoming weeks so um matter of fact speaking of which who here wants to uh wants to cop some foam runners this week i think they're gonna be usually i think i think from this drop the big drops are only happening on the eighth everything else seems to be very very sleep unless i'm not seeing everything as of right now again i just woke up so yeah you always going live gonna subscribe thank you tomorrow appreciate that a thousand percent uh gabe says is that little bag removal from the shorts so the bag that you guys see here right the bag from the shorts right this is actually the shorts themselves i believe you see got you guys see this right here so you pretty much you're gonna fold the shorts into that little pouch thingy magic and then you're gonna zip it up and that's it it's like a portable pair of shorts king what is up king i'm not so sure if i still haven't said anything to king but what is up king appreciate you guys for tuning in once again big shout out to everyone in the chat and the supporters up in here man we really touched six thousand subscribers aka six thousand family members so thank you guys so much for always tuning in check this out guys we did it we hit the milestone six thousand appreciate you guys a thousand percent we're gonna try to hit seven thousand next hopefully by the end of this month we're gonna keep it pushing appreciate you guys a thousand percent guys once again and if you guys are new here if you guys want to follow me on instagram this is my instagram right here uh, we're gonna be tuning in on the sneakers app as well as nike app to see if there's anything dropping if you guys know any info on that please if you guys know any info on any restocks happening let it be known in the chat uh, we're all here to support the uh, sneaker community. So if we know something, we tend to give it out for everyone. So that way everyone has a fair, fair chance. Christian, what is up, brother? Man, what is up? How's school, bro? Or did you already finish school? I know a lot of people have been finishing school. Jessica, morning. Good morning, Jessica. Hassan says, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Hassan. Uh, Kevin says, I caught the SB Dunk Polaroid size 10.5. Nice, Calvin. Good morning to you. He says, yo, what's up, BG? What is up, Kelvin? Jackson Kick says, yo, good morning. Sorry I missed the live last night. No problem, guys. We went live at 3 a.m. for EU. So I understand if you guys could not make it to the live stream. But nonetheless, we got to go live for our EU sneakerheads out there in the world. So we got to bless up. Shout out to those that hit on EU. Again, it was a very, very tough drop for these two bubblegums. Uh, for the bubblegum uh, packs, but it seems like resale Valley stood their ground as of right now They did stood their ground. I was expecting them to drop just a tiny bit But it seems like they just stood up or they went up just a tiny bit as you guys can see it went up $16 for this one particular size, which is a size 12 um, Let's see soul chalice says good morning BG. Hope you had an amazing weekend brother. I'm always having an amazing weekend, bro I'm always hope you guys have an, a, gr a great start to your guys week to begin with to be honest because Mondays are not tough, but we're still going out and kicking ass. Uh, Daniel says, reservations are open on FLX or Flex apps for the Stage Haze Jordan 1s. Appreciate that, Daniel. Appreciate that a thousand percent. Um, I believe King gave us a Yeezy Supply link two days from now. Nice. So if you guys are trying to get those foam runners, I will be having, um, I'm pretty sure by the end of this stream, I'll talk more about the uh, raffles that are going up for uh, foam runners. But if you guys want to enter, on the confirmed app right now it should be hot and loaded right now for uh a full family size run so if you guys are trying to go out for a foam runner i think it's going to be one of the easiest quick flips of the week if you guys do success uh successfully check um uh check out or whatnot so i think you, you guys would be straight if you guys get a, uh, a foam runner uh stage ages or as people are calling them um what are they the the corals or something like that uh that's what that would be like a solid pickup but not the best for investment purposes. I know I would pick them up, but um, I've already got too many uh, pairs of ones 
and um, I'm just not trying to, you know, with ones going down on the market, I think it's time for me to just lay back and not go for just any type of one and just simply go for like, you know, the bigger releases like, you know, the uh, Chicago's, the Chicago Reimagines. Um, if there's some type of like, you know, Travis Scott ones that are going to drop like July 21st, 2022, that's next month. Be ready. Full family size run. Uh, I'm definitely going to be going for those as well. Uh, but yeah, as far as for Jordan ones now, I'm definitely going to be very, very picky of which ones I will be going for. Um, let me see. Let me see. Something might be restocking. Trevor Rosco is saying there might be a possible dunk. Nice. Nice, nice. So that's where we're tuning in for. Nike CEO was at the WEF in Davos. Do you uh, do your search on WEF? It's a corporation working together for global governance. Clause is a real life bad guy. Scary times. I feel you on that. Uh, reservations. Chris says, uh, what's up, BG? What are your estimations for Supreme North uh, North Face Red T resale? Um, so as of right now, I don't know what retail would be, but if I'm going to guess, it's probably going to be around the $88 range. Um, as far as for quick flips, I wouldn't even do the red one. I would definitely go with the black or the white ones. I think those would be easy movers. But um, as far as for the red one, you can probably sell it for right around 110 maybe 120 if I'm pushing it. But I'm just lowballing it right there because I'm not so sure how much retail will be. We'll, we'll see. We'll see when it goes. But I think that anything you guys touch will will resell but um the shipping and the taxes is what kills the profits from supreme because if it's a low if it's a low um if it's a low retail item it's that it's that tax and the the shipping that kills the profits really maybe if it was something more expensive it would be more helpful but at the end of the day it's it's still a cheap product and supreme is charging tax when it comes to their stuff man adam what is up adam where were you in, on the live stream adam we went live for eu th uh this morning uh shara says good morning good morning showers i enter on the raffle on foot uh foot patrol nice for which shoes jackson kick says bro how do i join and become a channel member and get the blue banner and the wrench um i don't see the next to your name to pay i want to support the channel thank you guys so much for trying to support the channel if you guys are trying to become a member you guys simply have to click this join link and on top of that i should be dropping it for you guys usually you guys have to be on desktop for it from what it seems like but i can drop you guys the link right then and there but yeah, guys, if you guys want to support the channel, that's a great way of supporting the channel. And um, I will be doing small little giveaways for our group members so or our channel members. So if you guys want to join, you guys can. It's not ob an obligation, but uh, it would definitely help out the channel a lot. And all the funds that goes towards the channels will be reinvested towards the channel. And pretty soon we can update everything from the channel so we can have better live streams, easier, easier. Um, easier um you know pain in the ass when it comes to uh switching over to different links and whatnot it'll be probably the best thing for the channel so if you guys are do do want to uh support the channel and whatnot here's the link right here i'll place it right here it's going to be my channel link so if you guys want to go there and click on the join button you guys can become a member and everything that goes towards the channel gets reinvested pretty soon we're going to have a brand new mic for our streams and then later on we will be investing in a camera for the streams as well so appreciate you guys a thousand percent, man. One thousand percent. We got about two minutes left to see what, in fact, we'll be dropping. Um, Helper Casino says, morning, brother, morning. Appreciate you guys a thousand percent. Demetrius, what is up, guys? Those that know me know that Demetrius is one of my supporters as well, guys. Go make sure and check his uh, check his page out as well. He does streams. He also does uh, sneaker uh, reviews when it comes to, you know, the latest sneakers. Um, I can't recall. I think the last sneaker review that I've seen uh, Demetrius make were the air trainers, to be honest. Off the top of my head were the air trainers. But he also goes uh, live streaming too, guys. So if you guys want to check him out, go right ahead. Um, let me see. What else do I have here? Chicago's Finest says, yo, what's goody fam? What is up, guys? We're about to tune in. We got a minute left. Um, guys should definitely check on your Nike app and just simply go on uh, the search bar. Type in dunks. If there's anything popping up, I'll show you guys right here. Uh, again, nothing seems to be popping up on my end, but you guys simply check on dunks. I mean, you guys can check to see if there's anything new up in here. Launching on sneakers, dunks, just in. I mean, you guys got some woke rays right up in here. I don't know how early. Uh, I don't remember these popping up before. 
Uh, remove from favorites coming soon. 08. Nope. All right. So it's 10 o'clock, guys. So you pretty much go on your Nike's app or sneakers app and simply just check up what's going on, man. Jordan 1. Maybe a Jordan 1. Jordan 1 mids. We got some mids in from what it seems like. We got some heritages. I think those were there before, though. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Here's some minty mids. These look kind of fire, though, to be honest. But I'm not going to be going for them because I'm not a mids type of person. But uh, no hate towards mids whatsoever. No hate towards mids whatsoever. Let's actually check what's going on on sneakers real quick. Let me see real quick. Sneakers, sneakers, sneakers. I'm going to refresh. All right. Let's see what the vibes are with. Appreciate you guys for tuning in once again, guys. If you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, man. <laughs> uh, buy a stream deck next. You'll thank me. Appreciate that. I'll definitely look into it for sure. For sure. Are you guys seeing anything on your guys' end? Because I'm not. Oh, okay, awesome. JD, perfect, perfect, perfect. Appreciate Nathaniel. Uh, JD's having a queue right now. Bet. Bet, bet. Let's tune in on JD. And finish line appreciate you nathaniel for that you see that's why we do things up in here man we everyone shows support in the channel sometimes we don't know what exactly is going on so we just go ahead and support and uh drop some info for us look at that so i will be dropping you guys the jd sports link and finish line link i'm not so sure what exactly we'll be restocking on there but we're still tuning in <clears throat> all right guys Boop. All right, so this is the link. Um, what's the Supreme X TNF drop saying uh, about what? Oh, snap. For some reason, I can't drop the link. It's too long for the uh, for us to drop it. So I guess just if you guys go to JD Sports or Finish Line, you guys will be on the queue. On the queue. Um, let's see. 11 till 11 killed me yesterday. Work. Oh, snap. That must have sucked, bro. That must have sucked. Pure Slides on Kith. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. If you guys want to go on Kith, go right ahead. Uh, thank you so much, King, for dropping the link. Appreciate you. If you guys have any links, if you guys are mods, please drop the link for everyone so that way we can stay in tune and everyone can just click on it and simply uh, not have to do that extra work, especially since you guys are probably on the go right now. JR says, what's up? What is up, JR? Appreciate you guys for tuning in once again. JD has Kit and Jordan 1 mids. Nice. Nice, nice. I guess if you guys are trying to cop some mids for uh, for your little ones, go right ahead. We're still going to just check just to be safe. Maybe restock on dunks at 11 a.m. Maybe. We'll still we'll we'll stay in tune for that. We got about less than an hour left for them. But, yeah. Um, okay, thanks. I'm on app. I'll go on desktop. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Appreciate you guys for tuning in once again, guys. How's everyone's morning going so far? Please, let it be known in the chat. Also, let me know what's going to be your favorite cop of this week if you guys do, in fact, cop something. Please let it be known. I feel like mine's is probably going to be, um, mine's are probably going to be the, uh, the foam runners. Foam runners, if I'm able to cop, that is. If I'm able to cop, I'm definitely going to be rocking the shiz out of those for show. For show. But let me see if I can get you guys right real quick with some... Okay. I'm gonna have to stop all these. All right, guys. So pretty much this is how it's gonna go down. Um, on the eighth is pretty much what's gonna be dropping the heat. I do not see anything else other than the eight dropping anything worth talking about. But if there is, I mean, we're still gonna be going live every single morning, so it's not like it's gonna matter. But on the eighth, we will be seeing the casinas drop okay so casinas in both colorways they got this colorway and that colorway i'm not so sure what's the difference or what's the name for each colorway but definitely do know that they're both going to sell out like asap i'm not so sure if it's going to be a draw or not is it it says available 1009 let me actually check sneakers out for you guys real quick definitely going to be checking for you guys so it says draw so yeah via sneakers app it's gonna be draw on the 8th which is on a wednesday i believe 
and um, I think you guys are gonna have to cop um, for the personal just to be safe. But overall, I do think that they're gonna sell out, and you guys can make some chump change out of them. I don't know how much money you guys could possibly make, but I could definitely see it around the two twenty range, most likely. Uh, Sam says the Casino Air Max One Brown pair. Pro awesome, awesome. Wait, are we talking about the same one? Because you spelled it, spelled it with the C. This is with the K, but I think I get what you're saying, Sam. So yeah, the brown pair, and then we have, well, this is the brown pair pretty much, right? Yeah, that's the brown pair. But um, both should be selling now. I think these are gonna be fan favorites for Koreans out there. So if you guys are uh, based up on Casina, from one of my peoples have told me that um, Casina is kind of the union for Korea. So if there's a lot of hype with Casina, this is definitely gonna sell it. Not to mention it's an Air Max one and it's very, I feel like Nike's been pushing the Air Max one silhouette. So long-term or um, investment wise, I think it would be a smart but subtle move because obviously Air Maxes are not the best for resale. But I think overall, like if you hold this pair for quite some time, I could definitely be seeing some revenue being made. Um, I will also believe that blueprints are going to be releasing on the 9th if i'm not mistaken right guys but um or the 9th or the 8th i can't recall but i'm definitely going to be having the the link for blueprints i'm pretty sure they're either going to be releasing on sneakers or nike um let me see if i have anything else for the foam runners because i don't think i've dropped any 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 uh raffle links for the foam runners but i'm going to give it to you guys for right now all right, so those that are tuning in right now, right? There should be some raffles up, or if so, mostly all the raffles are up. So if you guys haven't already, let me see if I can actually just put it on my notes. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, guys, so. All right, let me see real quick. So raffles, I'm guessing that Stress is going to be having a raffle for you guys. Hold on. Let me actually search up on Instagram. Appreciate you guys for tuning in once again, guys. Um, let's do Offspring first. So Offspring should be having a raffle for you guys. As you guys can see right here, we have it right here. Raffle closed already six hours ago. Sheesh, never mind. Um, let me see. Naked or Livestock should be having one as well. Livestock Canada. Let's see if they're in fact having anything. All right, that's not what we want. Dexstock Canada. I gotta just go over the list if they're still happening or not coming soon. Apparel sneakers, new arrivals. All right, all right, all right. Damn, what the heck is going on? How come I can't find anything today? Definitely feel like I'm out of the loop today, for sure. Eduardo says, good morning, what is up? Yeah, blueprints on Nike, I need a double up for sure, facts. Yo, what did I just see about those Nike SB Paisleys? What well, on, let me see. Boop, boop, boop. Resell Nike SB low Paisleys. Oh, it's just one of those resells on my page. I'm trying to see if there's, shop on Instagram, contact. I thought they were going to be on, um, let me see real quick. Let's check out their story. Nothing, nothing, nothing. All right. Maybe I should go over the raffles or I should have the raffles up for you guys for my second stream, just in case, just so I don't give you guys false information and whatnot before I go in hand. But I do know that um, sneakers, I mean, not sneakers, Yeezy Supply is going to be having them. I do know that um, Confirmed that was already having their raffles up right now. What else? Uh, Yeezy Slides on Yeezy Supply on June 8th. Thanks for that, Blue, uh, Blue Widow Spider. Appreciate that. Premiere app raffle today at 3 p.m. Appreciate that again. So, yeah, we can check Premiere app as well. If you guys do have the uh, the raffles for, you guys, uh, for everyone, please let it be known in the chat. Because sometimes I'd be forgetting getting mismatched. Um, let's see the vibes real quick. So on the Premiere app, he says, right? So pretty much you're going to have to check on the app. Boop. 
screen record. All right. So we're going to see. I'm thinking that it's going to be either. Wait a minute. Draw happens at three. Let me see. Are you guys going to go for these or not? Cognite Dunk Low, $100 resale in about four hours. I'm definitely going to be going in for these. Ain't no restock on sneakers. Stop it, LMAO. We're just going, we're just trying to see if there is going to be a restock. Don't mind us. Ryan says, what, what were the dunks dropped today? Question mark. Um, so the dunks I dropped today, they were the bubblegum pack. EU. EU, guys. Nike sneakers. EU. We went live for this in the morning. Tyler says, what up, buddy? What is up, Tyler, man? I'm just trying to see if I can wake up real quick, man. I feel like... I can't find anything today. Uh, my fault, bro. Typo. But yeah. No, no problem. Um, let me see. Oh, uh, yeah. Blueprints on Nike. I need to double up for sure. Daniel says, yo, what did I see about those Nike? Dun JD Sports. Only kids. Jordans and women. Dunks. WNBA. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Are we even in there still? We're still in the queue for some odd reason. Appreciate the 200 people up in here once again. Uh, Kevin says, BJ, they're dropping the Wu-Tang Crocs collab tomorrow. Check them out, though. Uh, are they going to be on Crocs? Let's see. Let me see. I did see something about Wu Tang, but where are they going to be dropping at? Because I'm not even seeing them on Crocs either. I'm like lost in the sauce today, guys. Uh, when and where are the bubblegum pack dropping in the U.S.? That's a great question. The um, dates for those are unconfirmed for U.S., but they did have the drops happen today, this morning on EU. So usually when it does happen in EU, they tend to do it soon afterwards. But yeah, soon afterwards, but um, we're still unconfirmed on that. Still unconfirmed on that, guys still unconfirmed on that <laughs> these would be dope right i mean i'm not a fan of wu-tang like that but um they're kind of dope they're kind of dope scale of one to ten i give them a solid one i said one but i meant like um, like a five and a half nothing too crazy uh, will the Air Max 1 Casinos be a flip? Question mark. Um, It's really up to you to decide. It's kind of tricky, but I think it will be a flip. I think it will be a flip. I think they're going to be a sellout for sure. The Fenton Individual writes, Have you seen the black UNC Jordan 1s coming out? Best looking colorway in a long time. Those Panther jerseys fired? Nah, what? UNC 1 black. Let me see. Wait a minute. Are you talking about highs? Are you talking about hides or are these black toes? I feel like I've seen these before. I feel like I've seen these before. Or someone spoke to me about it. You have to send a picture. You guys, if you guys want me to see a, a shoe, you guys send me the picture through my uh, through my DMs on Instagram. Definitely do that. Definitely do that. That would help out a thousand percent. So that way I can tune in and see um, what exactly you guys are talking about i saw on the stories on crocs instagram post last week nice calvin yeah i think i've seen that same exact post but i don't think they had it up they have it up on their site yet adam bird says i was gonna go for them this morning but didn't wake up lol sheesh sheesh what time did they drop in eu i think they they dropped around um what is it 9 a.m or 10 a.m your your time i can't recall though I can't recall though, but definitely feel like they dropped around 9 or 10 a.m. your guys' time for sure. For sure, man. Let's see what the vibes was easy to apply, man. It's gonna be a full family size run. Sheesh. We got about a day and 23 minutes. To pop up on these i think it's going to be a tough cop as always on easy supply but my best bet is probably going to be those damn raffles yo raffles are probably going to be my best bet to begin with 
not on Yeezy Supply. I think I'm never gonna get in on Yeezy Supply. I've never actually copped on Yeezy Supply unless it was like a, a brick. Unless it was a brick. <laughs> Let's see. Jorge says, I just got my Travis Scott Air Max mailed and they look fire for the toes. Nice, Jorge. Which ones did you cop, man? Air Max? Did you cop Air Maxes or, um, or trainers? Let's actually check how prices are doing for these, man. 10.5, 380. Sheesh. Sheesh. That's actually not that bad. I was expecting them to brick even more. Not even brick right now. They're, they're not even bricking. They're staying strong, I feel like. I thought they were going to reach under 200 to begin with. But they seem they seem to be doing okay. That's a solid flip right there. And a solid long-term hold, in my opinion. Anything Travis Scott, I would hold. Let's see how much. Yeah, they're doing just fine. They're doing, they're doing just fine, which is great. I was really, I was really panicking a bit for the market. But if even Travis Scott, if Travis Scott's are still doing decent, then we're we're okay. We're okay. The Travis Scott shoes are doing decent numbers. Like this is decent to me. This is not even that bad. For a, a market crash that we're having. I think it's okay. We're doing just fine. Last sale was 521. It's not bad. It's not bad. Is not bad. Adam Bird says ADM. Danny Vega says, I hit on Travis Scott Air Max 1 Brown joints. Will they be a 1K sneaker next year? Definitely not 1K. Definitely not 1K, but um, I could see it being like, if it's staying strong like how it is right now, I could see it being 600 or I can be like around the same price. I don't see it dipping down 400, 460 in some sizes. In some sizes, that is. Like the bigger sizes mostly I'm talking about. The smaller sizes are already at 373. Or like the smaller sizes are already under 400. But uh, depending on the bigger sizes, if you picked up on a big size, I do not see it dipping down as much. I think Onyx Foam Runners will not brick. I think it's going to be a, a hard cop regardless because it's all black Foam Runners. And what's up, Vus? Uh, Famous says, what is up? What is up, Famous Amos? Uh, Hori says, I'll take your opinion to hold the brown Air Maxes. I would say... So here's the thing about the holds right now, guys. Here's the thing about the holds right now. If you guys are not capable of holding them for a specific amount of months or maybe even years, I do not see some of these shoes going up crazy in price. Crazy in price. But um, as far as for Travis Scott in general, I would just hold on to them because they'll they'll go up over time. It's a Travis Scott shoe. I think there's a lot of fans. Um, around the world that are willing to pay that price and on top of that they don't really restock when it comes to those type of shoes or at, for an example for travis scott shoes i don't really see any any uh any restocks be happening man i don't um let me see my wife's account hit the brown travis scott air maxes and my sister's hit the saturn pair nice nice that's a sub man that's lucky right there i couldn't even hit manage to hit one bro not even one How'd you guys do on the Travis Scott pairs? Those that are pulling up up in here, man. Let me know in the chat. Um, is the TNF X Supreme drop any good? Question mark. It's a great question. I think it's decent. I mean, not even decent. It's below average in my opinion. But it's still gonna be, it's still gonna be something. It's still gonna be some type of profit. I feel like. SNSS also um, has the Onyx Foam Runners raffle. Thank you so much for that. And I believe now that I'm remembering, I think Amma Minier also has a raffle. I believe Amma Manier also has a raffle. Releases. Yeah, right there. And they also have the stage hazes as well. These are going to be dropping on June 8th as well in multiple sites. Not on Sneakers app, which is surprising. But June 8th is also going to be stage haze. How could I forget? Look at that. Now I'm starting to remember most of the stuff. Um, then we go check out SNS. I got to save these up for you guys for my second stream so you guys can just um pop on in and just have all the info ready to go oh wait sneakers and stuff let's see busta kid says do you think tree line air maxes will go up i think eventually i think eventually tree lines are a great shoe in my opinion great for the personal as of right now i've definitely told my friends to pick up tree line air maxes 
they're very much under market i mean under the retail price i believe right retail was 150 and some sizes are doing less than 150 um the smaller sizes that is um i would say hold hold them hold them pairs man hold them air max ones i could definitely see air max one being a very popular popular um silhouette in the future i think they're very much pushing that that silhouette and eventually i think it's going to catch on it, it's already been catching on to be honest just a matter of time but it's very undervalued for sure i think air max ones are one of the most uh cleanest silhouettes out there right now uh the supreme tnf pants are hard in my opinion nice very much nice are they pants or sweatpants are they pants or sweatpants also let's actually see we see anything up in here i think i gotta go on oh i just received an email that's an uh, sneakers and stuff at the same spot what the heck what the heck limited edition features we can do adidas see what the vibes are with that yeah i'm not seeing it but it's definitely going to be on there for sure i could have sworn someone at, uh told me the same thing let me see only taxes nine dollars not bad eduardo says anyone willing to sell me the bbq air max one true to size for 400 dollars size 8.5 let me know that's not bad at all to be honest uh do i have to put my payment info for the premiere at uh, uh the premiere raffle i believe you get the info put up after um if you uh get the confirmation that you uh hit uh air jordan 5 retro green beans regal pink nice thank you so much for that king appreciate that Jonna said, dang, those are ugly. You think so? You guys think tree lines are ugly? You guys think so? Uh, Danny Vega says, infrared Jordan 4s drop soon. I don't like the colorway. Will they be a flip? Uh, normally, Jordan 4s are flips. Yeah, Jordan 4s right now are probably the hottest, hottest, and the dunks. Jordan 4s and dunks are the hottest shoes right now to flip. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely um i do have a raffle right up in here i'm just saving this up i know i gotta put in more raffles for uh the jordan fours but these are gonna be coming out on eu right sneakers app so i will be going live this week for them for sure for uh eu edwin says uh yeah you're right after you hit uh tree lines look a lot better in person in my opinion definitely i th i think so too i think so too uh, Michael says, what do you think about the Converse X peanut, uh, Peanuts collab? Question mark. I'm not so sure, uh, Michael. I've never really seen those like that. Let me actually check them out. Let me actually check them out. Um, just Converse. I don't really mess with Converse. The only pairs of shoes um, that I actually have are the Coma Des Garçons. But other than that, I used to rock them when I was in elementary school. I should definitely step into the vibe with converses but if you're talking about these i mean if you guys love charlie brown you guys should definitely go for it. or peanuts if you guys grew up watching peanuts definitely could see it definitely could see it let's see what else they got got this white pair bonk that's pretty cool pretty dope would i pick them up i don't think so but uh definitely a cool cool just nonetheless Danny says, thanks, no problem. Miles says, what's up, BG? Did I miss any sneaker uh, sneakers drop? Nah, there's nothing happening. From what it seems like, we're still going to be tuning in until 11 a.m. to see if there's any type of reserve or something like that. But uh, it seems like nothing is happening. And if you guys know something that I may not know or that everyone doesn't know, please let it be known in the chat, y'all. Please let it be known in the chat. Um, Let's see. Vus says, end is crazy. They add on so many extra fees could it be because they're like um maybe for us maybe for us right because we're located in the u.s could it be because they have to ship i think end is a a europe a europe-based uh app no 
or your base site. Uh, Famous says, what's your first Jordan? Question mark. I think they were like Jordan mids or something like that. That was like my first Jordan. And they were like purple. They were like purple Jordan mids. Uh, they were a gift from a friend. A gift from a friend. And um, yeah, I, that was my first pair of Jordan ones. Uh, free thugger, free gunner, free the slats. Facts, y'all. That's crazy, right? Uh, Eduardo says, I bro. Time to see y'all later. Appreciate you for tuning in. Eduardo, man. Appreciate you a thousand percent once again. Um, have fun at work, Eduardo. Or try to have fun and try to see if you can bang it out for show. For show. All right, we're in on JD. Let me just see retro. Are you guys copying anything from JD? Let me know in the chat. Is there anything that I've missed? Sale, brands, releases. Wednesday. Is this only for small sizes? From what it looks like, it's only going to be for small. Big kids, yeah. Big kids. They're not showing no love for the big boys. For men's or women's, that is. All right, guys. Let's see. Krep says, I'm in your Jordan 1 restocked on EU sneakers for uh, the other day. Yeah, which was on Friday, right, guys? I'm pretty sure it was on Friday. It was after the AMA 2s dropped. Like an hour later after the AMA 2s dropped. Correct. Did you end up hitting Krebs? Is there any restocks you think? Question mark. Well, that's why we're tuning in for US. I'm not so 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 sure when it comes to um when it comes to um Europe. But we're always staying tuned, guys. That's what we go live for because it is a quiet day. It is gonna be quiet for like maybe like today and tomorrow. But um, yeah, so we tend to just go live and see if there's anything that's going to drop around 10 a.m., 11 a.m. So that's the usual. So we're going to tune in for show. David says, what restock? There's no no such thing as a restock right now, but we're tuning in to see if there will be. Uh, Vus says, BG, I sold my golden rods for 135 and the pandas for 190 Not bad. Make some come ups. Uh, Edwin says, yes, Friday. Nice. Larissa says, missed the easy slide restock on Kith. LOL. Sheesh. Well, if it was on Kith, it would have been a tough cop. If it was on Kith, it was going to be a tough cop regardless. Kith is bot city and most for the most part. That's why I don't like Kith. I don't go. I don't like going on Foot Locker. I don't like going on Kith. Um, it's like very much highly bought and they don't really care about it. I feel like. Uh, are you going to go for the Casina Air Maxes? Yes, I'm definitely going to be going for Casinas for sure. For sure, I think it's gonna be a sellout. I think people are gonna love these. I gotta see these in hand, man. These in hand are gonna look fire. And I love the outsole. I love the casino outsoles, for sure. Pretty freaking fire. Pretty, pretty freaking fire on both colorways. Both colorways, for sure. Um, Let's see. Krep says, I live in UK, so I had the chance to hit, but I woke up late. Crestilla Crim says sneakers drops around 8 a.m. in the UK, so it's pretty hard to wake up. I feel you, man. There's some people over here in the US that have to wake up at 7, 7 a.m. I think it's the Western Standard Time. And then I think Canada has to wake up at 6 a.m. So, so there's definitely some people that have it worse than us for sure. For sure. But nonetheless, at least we have to appreciate that we have the chance to buy and choose in general, man. Some people cannot do this, um, do this hobby as ours. Uh, it's very much expensive, so the fact that we're able to wake up and see if we can cop some shoes that are very much expensive, it's a blessing, man. It's always a great time. It's always a great time. Um, even if you take those L's, man, it's just going to be an upcoming W in the future. So um, I just brush off them L's every time I do take them. Like today, a lot of people did take some L's on these. Very much limited. Uh, Kreps, we actually went live for EU, and um, I went live around 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time just to see how people would do on the drops. They were telling me that they were doing terrible. We had stock numbers and it was not looking right. Uh, Tate says, I got to wake up at 7 in Arizona. Sheesh. Well, if you guys are tuning in in the chat, please let me know what time do you guys typically wake up for your guys' drops when it comes to uh, sneakers app. Let, let it be known in the chat and let it be known the location as well. Uh, Miles says, which casino color do you like more? I prefer the more toned down blue grayish pair. Okay. Um, I do like the other pair though. I, I like the other pair. So you like this pair. 
Um, I like the outsole of the pair more than the other pair, if that makes sense. Um, I do like this one more, but the outsole, I like the uh, the one that you like more. Or the outsole. Yes, sir. U.S. West Coast people have to wake up early. That's a fact. That's a fact. Steven says, hey, BG, what blueprints are restocking? I'm hella late. Nah, don't worry. Uh, the blueprints should be restocking on the 9th, I believe. Right, guys? On the 9th, and it should be on the Nike app. We already have blueprints right over here. Um, let me see if I can just take my pair out for the one time. But I got my blueprints right over here. Definitely one of my favorite Air Max ones as of right now. I think I might be biased because of the UNC colorway. Or not the UNC colorway, but the baby blue colorway. On top of that, the outsole, it glows. It's like UV glowing. So it's always a great time for these. I pretty much warm inside my on my carpet but i never really took them out yet so i'm definitely gonna wait on the right time to rock these and i can see these going up in value even with the restock happening um i think these are one of the most cleanest air maxes that have came out this year so I'm still keeping my pair hopefully you guys already kept up your, with your pairs but let me see uh link says wake up at 4 a.m us west sheesh um, Steven says, oh, hell yes, I need to double up and put them on ice. Nice. Nike app on, on the 9th? I think so, Steven. I think so. Unless someone can, does, can anyone confirm that for me real quick? I'm pretty sure it should be on the 9th or on the 8th. Let me see if I can, uh, check it out for you guys real quick. Uh, yeah, it's going to be on the 9th, guys. It's going to be on the 9th and it's going to be on the Nike app. It's going to be on the 9th. And on the Nike app. Manny with the kick says, Yeah, what is up, Manny? What is up? Appreciate you for tuning in once again. We got about, what, 30 more minutes to see if there's going to be any type of stock going on or reserve, whatever you guys want to call them. Definitely tuning in, guys. Definitely tuning in on this. Appreciate you guys for tuning in nonetheless, man. You'll see yes on nike awesome i work overnight so i'm fortunate when it comes to uh to drops nice that's what's up steven that's what's up um that's the spirit too man uh i had two travis air trainers and air max you think it's a solid hold uh it's gonna be quite some it's you're gonna have to hold it for a quite long time man i'm not gonna lie any shoes you guys are holding it's gonna be for a while man it's gonna be for a while unless they're like a hot hot shoe like an easy wearable shoe as well so i can honestly see military blacks go up in value faster than travis scott's that's how i'm seeing it military blacks i've been i've been recommending military blacks left and right truth be told it's because the jordan 4 right now is probably the most popular silhouette right now of jordan's not to mention this colorway scheme is just such an easy wearable shoe to rock y'all do not sleep on this Pick up a pair of these before they end up rising up, man. I can see these being at least $100 more than what they already are as of right now. As of right now. They've been stuck at around the 320 range in some sizes. So definitely pick up a pair. Definitely pick up a pair before it goes up. Um, it was not limited. But um, nonetheless, it's a sought-after shoe. It's a sought-after shoe. And it's gonna. there's actually going to be late shipments still coming to the U.S. If you guys are in the U.S., there's some late shipments coming out so that we should be receiving another restock or um, a Jordan reserve for the for the military blacks. Thoughts about North Face X Supreme. I think it could have been a little bit better, but, you know, it, it is what it is. You can only make so much heat for a period of time. Um, I think they're decent. I like the T-shirts. I like the, the black and the white T-shirts. I might actually end up trying to pick up the black pair, the black shirt. Just join what restock? Ruben, there's no restock happening. We're just tuning in to see if there will be a restock. Um, let's see. I woke up at 9 for drops. I live in the suburbs of near Chicago, but I sort of wish it was earlier because of school, but I'm done now, so I'm chilling. Nice. Congrats. Congrats. Yeah, shout out to everyone that graduated already or that uh, finished school for the uh, for the year or semester, depending on um, how, uh, how much school you guys... Uh, are um are at let me see 
Ruben says, or oh, I already read that. Gabriel says, I know it's old, but do you think the Pata Air Max 1s are still a good cop? Definitely, Gabriel. What? Just because the shoe is old does not mean it goes out of like style or like popularity, bro. Like, honestly, I think that the older the shoe gets, the harder and the rarer it is. So it brings up more hype to it, in my opinion. Like, if you, I feel like those Pata's, right? There's actually rumors going around that Pata's are going to, um, are gonna re uh, release again, but in an all white colorway. Um, I believe they have already came out with the all white colorway, but a friends and family pair, but there's gonna be one just for the public. So that's gonna be pretty freaking fire. And I can tell you that shoe is gonna go crazy, but paddas are fire. Which ones are you planning on picking up? My honest favorite would be the black pair or the aquas. One or the other, those are one of my favorites. And these are actually my favorite Air Maxes. These are actually my favorite Air Maxes, no doubt. Behind the blueprints, to be honest. Behind the blueprints. But that that would be uh the black pair would be my favorite. Favorite Air Max one. Expressive Gamer says, What's happening? Not much. Nothing's happening, guys. Don't worry. Nothing's happening. We're just tuning in to see if there might be a potential, like, I don't know, Jordan Reserve or something. We're always tuning in for those for sure. Um, Benjamin says, what's up, BG? What's going down? LOL, working right now. Nothing crazy, guys. Nothing crazy. We're just going to be tuning in to see if there's anything going to be dropping. That's all. Um, bro, got one more day left, dog. Appreciate. Oh, yo. Keep on grinding, bro. Keep on grinding. I was about to say, appreciate, appreciate the, the hustle and the respect and like all that you do, man, because yo, I'm telling you, it's not easy. It's not easy. Uh, Krep says, uh, do you sell pairs of Jordan 4's military blacks? Because here in the UK, people are taxing like 350, 400 per shoe. So like, it's like 450 to 500. Sheesh. That's pretty taxed. But yeah, we do sell, um, we do sell the military blacks over here, but not as much as over there. That's expensive. I guess they already foresee the future over there or something. Because that's, that's my prediction on how much they will be in the future, but not right now. Probably the Monarchs. Why? Because they're a little bit cheaper. Or wait, the Monarchs or um, the Maroons? How much are... Yeah, the Monarchs are definitely cheaper than the Black Bear. Definitely, yeah. I would go with the Monarchs too if I was... Uh, if I was eager to grab me a pair of Padas, I would definitely go with the Monarchs too. Uh, Padas go hella hard, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. You said OG Padas go for hella bread. Oh, that's what you meant. I thought you meant hard. But yeah, I can just imagine anything OG. Um, let's see. Tyrone says stage haze Jordan ones are clean. In my opinion, I definitely, I think Jordan one haze stage hazes are clean as well, guys. Um, uh, but the thing is, it's just, uh, it's only going to be for personals. It's only going to be for personals at this point. The hype within Jordan one highs are dying down. I actually think that Jordan one lows are more popular than Jordan one highs. Now, John Lee says, yo, BG, good Monday morning. Congrats on six okay let's go thank you so much guys it couldn't have been done without you guys so appreciate that no doubt man pounds over dollars keep that in mind ah you're right you're right fam you're very much right hi from indonesia what is up ray vo what is up welcome welcome to the stream and shout outs to indonesia appreciate you guys a thousand percent if you guys are new please make sure you guys subscribe to the channel man we tend to go live every single day when it comes to sneaker releases sneaker shock drops and all that type of sneaker resale uh mumbos so if you guys are truly interested in that please let it be known in the chat also subscribe support the channel guys this is not just my channel this is our channel we try to do things together as a team so uh appreciate you guys for tuning in and supporting the channel and uh say what's up in the chat if you guys are new man this is all this is everyone's chat, so feel free to say what's up. As long as you guys are safe, kind, and respectful, you guys are great. You guys are doing just fine. Thank you guys so much for the 61 thumbs up, by the way. Uh, Chan says, BG the GOAT. No, Chan, you're the GOAT, man. You're the GOAT. Um, OC, local souls, definitely getting a personal into those stage hazes. Uh, how can you skip on a clean colorway on high OG? I, I agree, man. I agree. The only reason why I would be passing up on these is, one, I feel like I already have three shoes that look similar to it i do have the shadow ones all right it does give me the tone vibe the the shadow grayish vibe i already got 2.0s as well i already have nyc to paris and i feel like nyc to paris looks almost close to it it's just there's little differences to it um this is my pair that i have nyc to paris and it's still it's still in this condition too that's the thing 
it's still in this condition so it looks pretty much the same in my opinion i'd be pretty much buying the same shoe essentially but at the same time it does get a little different it you do see a little difference in it you do see a little difference in it but um Nonetheless, it's a clean shoe, guys. It's a clean shoe. I feel like I'd be buying all three shoes that I already have in one shoe right there. I just can't. I just can't buy any more Jordan 1s. I've already have a ton of ton of Jordan 1s that I'm just not even trying to. I'm going to get tired of the silhouette, and then what? And then I won't be rocking Jordan 1s anymore. Um, nonetheless, it's a clean shoe, and I would suggest you guys pick them up. You guys should definitely pick them up. Anime says, do you resell? I do sell, but now I'm becoming more of a collector. But... I'm always thinking about the uh, the selling the selling aspect of things as well. Uh, B Fresh says, uh, "What's up, BG? Dick in the vibes, bro. Potential shock drop today. Appreciate you for tuning in, B Fresh. Potential shock drop. I wouldn't say potential. We're just tuning in to see if there will be. That's about it. But let me close the window for you guys real quick because there's some noise happening out there. All right, we should be better now." Appreciate you guys for tuning in once again, guys. Crepes de la Crumb says, the Jordan 5 clot, I think, is heavily slept on. Personally, top five from the last two months. Not bad. Not bad. I wasn't so much of a fan of the clot fives. Um, but nonetheless, it's a clean, clean shoe for the personal. Um, it did brick. It was retail price uh, $200. Um, Jordan 5s don't really do too well in the market right now. And it being a low, it doesn't help either. I did pick up the um, the Dornbecker fives, um, and I still haven't let them go. But um, yeah, I don't see them being a great a great quick flip. I would say you have to hold these on. Well, at least for the Dornbeckers, I would say hold them for quite some time. But um, yeah, I just don't see a lot of potential of them being crazy, crazy expensive. Um, let's see. Ked, Ked 1005 says, Notre just dropped the Easy Boost 350 Compact Sneaker and Slate Carbon. Nice. Thank you so much for that, Ked. Thank you guys so much. Who picked up on the Yeezy 350s Compacts? Let me know. Who picked these up the other week? Or I think it was last Saturday, right, guys? Last Saturday. Who picked these up? I told you guys, if you guys were going to pick them up, just go for the personal. But uh, it seems like they stood their ground right now. Uh, Not so much, man. After, after the fees... You're pretty much below retail or at retail. Um, I hope everybody's sleeping on those haze. I need those. I hope everyone does sleep on them so that way you can pick them up for sure. Uh, Busta Kid says, yo, what the heck is going on outside? Can you guys hear that? Hold on. They're mad loud with their, uh, they're doing their lawn or something. Um, how long should I hold size 13 Union 2 Gray Fogs or should I flip them? It's up to you what you want to do with them. I would suggest you guys hold them. Hold your Union 2s, hold your 2s in general just to see how the market will do by next year. Because Nike and Jordan are trying to push that Jordan 2 silhouette. I could see it being pushed up and like being popping. Um, but just hold them as of right now, man. I don't think it's worth selling your guys' Unions or Amas as of right now. But... It's really up to you to decide if you think that's enough money for you to make on the shoe. Go right ahead. I typically would hold on to them. Uh, Fiddle says, look behind you. <sighs> Nothing. Okay. Uh, thoughts on Georgetown 3s? I've gotten mixed reviews when wearing them. Dude, Georgetown 3s are fire. And if I would... Uh, uh, <laughs> Georgetown 3s are fire, right? And I actually think that the Georgetown colorway is being somewhat hyped up now. Like, low-key, it's a slowly but subtle flex. And I think the Georgetown, anything Georgetown colorway, uh, should be doing very well in the future. I think that it's a great colorway to um, to invest in. I, I kind of like them. Before, I wasn't into them as much. But now, with the, with the uh, Jordan 1 uh, Georgetown, the reimagined one, or the 85 cut, I should say... The 85 cut. I think ever since then, I feel like the spark around Georgetown colorways have gone up just a tiny bit. And I kind of dig these a lot too, man. I do. Uh, I just hopped in my uh, on stream. Any quick updates? As of right now, there's nothing crazy going on. Nothing crazy going on. 
Uh, who told you there will be a restock? No one told me anything, guys. We're simply going if there will be. No one's saying that there's a restock happening. I'm just saying if there will be, we'll be right here ready to go. I started my stinky YouTube channel four months ago. Eric Lang uh, Language Dog, do you got any advice? Um, Be consistent. Consist consistency is key. Consistency is key. Uh, key. Uh, Elmer says, why are you live? Nothing is happening. Why not? Sometimes you don't have to go live when stuff are dropping. Uh, what restocked? Nothing. Nothing restocked. Nothing has happened yet, guys. Nothing has happened yet. Or, in fact, if there's even going uh, to be uh, restocking anything. The 34 production says, got them? Got them what? You got what? If you're still here. Elmer says, stop clickbaiting. It is what it is, man. If you call it clickbait, go right ahead. But we're still going live for every single morning. It does not matter if there's a live or if there's going to be some kind of drop or anything. We're still going to be going live, guys. Simple as that. Um, I have a feeling Nike's going to restock a Jordan 4 on the 8th because the Zen Masters is releasing then in the EU because they've restocked on the AMA 1s the same day the 2s released. It seems uh, feasible. Or what do you mean by feasible? Or... um seems doable or it's going to happen if there's a possible chance there's a possible chance but i don't see anything on my uh all my sources telling me that they're going to be a potential shock drop on the ama ones anytime soon that is or if in fact they're going to be dropping over here but we did go live for that um i think friday i think that's when it happened right friday we did go live and we tried waiting an hour so yeah we, di we did try to go live for an, uh, another hour after 10 because uh, the shock drop for the Jordan 1s um, happened an hour prior to the drop in EU. But yeah, um, I don't think it's going to happen anymore. But if there if it was going to happen, I feel like it would have happened that same day. Uh, Mr. Old School says, Morning BG 6K, dub facts. Appreciate you a thousand percent. Alexis Sanchez says, Should I sell or hold my military black fours and retros twos? I'm them in years. Uh, for the black, for the military blacks, how long are you willing to hold them off? Because I think those are going to go up in value very, very, and they're, they're going to be very well for a hold. As far as for the Alma 2s, how long are you able to hold those as well? I think over time they will go up, but you have to hold them for a long, long period of time. The 350 compacts, not bad, not bad. And um, do you have them in hand already or did they already, uh, are they in the mail or are they coming um, by the mail? Uh, Trucha says, I enjoy your content and vibe, fam. Can I gift you a hat pin? Awesome. Dude, what? I love hat pins. I never, I've never actually bought myself um, a hat pin from anyone else except for Hat Club. I would love to have a hat pin, man. I would love to. Um, if you guys know me, you guys can always DM me on Instagram. And if you guys have merch or anything like that, I'll send you guys my P.O. box. And uh, you guys can definitely send me any merch for me to wear on the stream or to shout you guys out your guys' product or whatever. And I got you guys, definitely. This is my Instagram. I'll, I'll drop the Instagram for you guys right there. Copy. Boop. Boop. And boom. That's what it's looking like. Yeah, so if you guys want to follow me, if you guys want to text me, DM me, whatever it is. If you guys have any questions, please let it be known in the chat, y'all. Let it be known in the chat. <clears throat> uh hometown says hold or where for what for what hometown um ag says what's your favorite sneaker of all time they're gonna be the dior ones guys dior ones are my favorite sneaker of all time as of right now dior ones boop hopefully i can use this as a oh snap bryant legacy building Appreciate you for the donation, the $5 dono. Appreciate you a thousand percent. If you enjoy going live, go live. You got a ton of folks that enjoy your discussions, dot, dot, dot. By the way, uh, my Puerto Ricos will be in today. Congratulations. Sheesh. Thank you so freaking much, man. Thank you so much for that. It means the world to me. Thank you guys for the donations. Once again, Steven Jackson. Good morning, fam. Is there a restock for sure today? Question mark. No restock for sure. There's actually not supposed to be a restock but we're going live every single morning just to see what will exactly drop in case there is a restock or some type of drop happening regardless but thank you guys so much for the donation guys thank you guys so freaking much much appreciation guys thank you guys i as you guys can see i have my laptop right here so i read everything and i check bases on everything on this laptop 
right over here so um i tend to look at the chat over here but i keep forgetting the cameras over here so thank you guys 100 percent for the support on the channel man thank you guys man um jesse says i love lily what uh who's lily jesse um let's see money mouse says good morning bg slash everybody good morning guys thank you guys so much for the donations once again man and for you guys for tuning in once again you guys do not have to donate but all donations that are done for the channel will be reinvested towards the channel to improve on the channel and update everything so we can uh make things right for you guys the viewers and uh, the supporters. So thank you guys so freaking much. And once again, we did reach 6,000 family members on the channel. So thank you guys so much for that as well. Uh, just here to like video. Thanks for going live. Even nothing drops, having it playing in the back, just in case, as you should. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, just subscribe to the channel. Nice. Thank you guys so much for that. Thank you guys so much for that. That's what's up, guys. Thank you, guys. That just made my morning. That's crazy. I, it feels good, man. It feels good that we go live and people actually enjoy the lives and not always has to be about the uh, restocks and uh, the drops happening, man. It's always great to just to go live and just chill out. Um, Aaron says, DR is coming out. Just join. No, we were just, uh, you know, everyone uh, wants to know, like, my favorite my favorite shoe of all time, pretty much. So I, I always got to give out the DR ones. That's my shoe right now. And if not the DR ones, then off-white Chicago ones. Those are always the solid second. I almost ended up buying a pair of Chicago ones. Oop, my apologies. But um, um, it was close to my birthday. I wanted to gift it to myself. I bought a size 10 and a half, but they ended up being fake. So um, eBay um, refunded me with the money. But then Virgil's passing and all that, um, the shoes skyrocketed like crazy. So there, there, there went my chances of getting my, uh, my grails. But uh, nonetheless, man, I feel like over time, I think I'll end up trading a bunch of my shoes or selling a bunch of my shoes just to secure that grail. Um, let's see. Any news on the Nike Craft? It's dropping this week, right? From what it seems like, I'm not so sure about Nike Craft. All my sources have not told me anything about Jordan 4 Nike Crafts. So um, if I do get info on that, Mr. Old School, you guys know I'll be giving it to you guys on the channel, on the stream, or in video because we do post every day when it comes to live streams and as well as uh, daily videos for you guys or shorts as well, man, or shorts as well. Um, Kuya says, Military Black Force is fuego. That's a fact. That's a fact. We got about eight more minutes left. Usually, we're going to tune in at 11 a.m. to see what the vibes are in case... Um, in case there's something happening like a Jordan Reserve on sneakers, just in case. And then afterwards, if nothing drops, then then we can just tap out and then uh, tune in on my second stream that we usually do. Typically on this channel, we do two streams, one in the morning, one in the evening or at night. So um, or in the afternoon or in the evening. So uh, just keep that in mind that uh, if you guys do end up missing a morning stream, you guys can always catch up on a second stream. Uh, Miles says, how much was the pair that ended up being fake? It was around 2700 around there. Around there, and I got refunded my money, like, um, after uh, SneakerCon legit checked it, or eBay Authenticity Program legit checked it, um, they ended up being fake, so I got my money back. Uh, Super Miguel says, yo, what's up, everyone? What is up, Miguel? And not to mention, they were used as well. They were not brand new. They were pre-owned. They were VNDS. So that's the only reason why I paid that low because usually VND, I mean, dead stock would be around like the 3,500 to 4,500, somewhere around there. So um, I thought since this dude had 100% positive feedback and um, and uh, the shoes looked very nice, um, and from a distance they looked real, from a distance. And I think maybe he took pictures of the real shoe itself and then sent me the fake pair, but yeah, that's what pretty much went down. But I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Nonetheless, what if he didn't know that they were fake or something and he just, you know, he got bamboozled himself, you know? Uh, George says, I got a big L on the dunk lows. Sheesh. Uh, what possible restock today? Core, there might be, there might not be a restock today. Uh, Miles says, oh, dang, that's a steal. That's a must have. Suck. Yeah, I mean, it would have sucked if I would have received fake, fake shoes, right? But at the end of the day, I got my money back and that's all that matters really that's all that matters i didn't get caught um nothing nothing really happened nothing really happened so that's the thing 
that's the thing nothing really ended ended up happening so we're good we're good on that end let's see uh the tom sags Ooh, tom sags how could we forget about tom sags are they are those coming out on the 10th i think they're uh nike crafts hold on if you i thought you meant uh jordan fours but you're talking about the tom sag crafts okay 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 got you right now look check this out these are going to be dropping uh this week as well june 10th wait hopefully it's on this week right june 10th will be in four days so yeah tom tags are going to be a great cop too that's going to be on friday um those that know me i did not like the tom tags at all right um uh, myla says or maya says what's up everyone what's going on nothing right nothing's going on guys we still got about five minutes to see if there's anything dropping if not then that's pretty much it for today when it comes to um drops from what i'm seeing right now but i don't think anything's going to be reserved or any any jordan reserves happening or uh any shock drops we're just tuning in to see if there will be just in case but um so as far as the Tom Sachs, um, I didn't know who Tom Sachs was. I didn't know his shoes that he came out with a while back, but they resell for a bunch. So this would be probably one of the most profitable shoes of the week. If so, it probably will be the most profitable shoe of this week. And it's only gonna be releasing on the Nike Craft site, which is right here, for the retail price of $109. And if you guys check, um, if you guys check his shoes, um let's see how much these are going to be going for look at just the price the prices on these be going crazy not to mention check these out too okay last sale was 5901 that's insane that's freaking insane do you guys see that that's insane guys that's insane so that's why this might be one of the best cops of the week and i forgot i forgot you see thank you guys so much for the reminder <laughs> It's going to be a tough, tough cop, I think. But nonetheless, definitely would tune in on that, guys. Definitely would tune in on the Tom Sachs for this week. That could be a potential big come up right there. Uh, Joe says, I got a big L on the dunk low. Sheesh. Um, let's see. The Onyx Foam Runners go around $300. Um, so as far as for the Onyx pairs, um, great personal and great for flipping as well, guys. Um, let's see. I feel like Onyx slides slowly going up. The thing is, is that they might end up being restocked heavy, guys. They might be restocked heavy. So you guys got to be mindful of that. You guys got to be mindful of that. They might get restocked heavy. So I don't think that slides, the easy, anything easy is a great long-term investment. Because most likely, they, they're they going to be restocking. Um, Let's see, we still got three more minutes left. Enrique says, what's restocking today? We're not so sure if there is if there is going to be a restock, but we're going to be tuning in to see if there's a potential Jordan Reserve or something. And then after that, we can just clock out. Uh, Tom Sachs did the Mars Yard. Nice. Nice, Nadine. See, I didn't even know who Tom Sachs was. I didn't even know who Tom Sachs was. So it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. What time is it right now? It's 10.57 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, guys. If you guys are watching right now, please let me know in the chat what are you guys doing today on this blessed Monday? What are the vibes for today? What do you guys plan on doing that? Or, or doing uh, this morning or this afternoon? Hold up. When do them Nike crafts release? They're going to be releasing the 10th. The 10th of this month, which is in about four days for the retail price of $109.99, which is pretty much $110. And it's going to be on the Nike craft site, man. Let's see. <clears throat> um, true chip pin says true that. Yeah, very much. Uh, Jesse says, what is your PO box? My wife makes coasters. Um, sure. Um, so when it comes to the PO box, just simply email or uh, not email me, but DM me on Instagram. I'll give you guys the uh, PO box just in case if people out here are trying to be kind of funny and send something that they're not supposed to send through my PO box. I just prefer uh those serious people that want to like give back to the channel and just show support or shout shout themselves out on their work uh to just email me or uh, dm me and I, I can give you guys the p.o box from there then on there just for serious people that only want to uh show some love and support um for the channel or anything else uh robert says no what time but thanks no what time but thanks. what do you mean by that hold up when oh, okay, okay okay you're talking about what time um as of right now, 
it's not giving us it's not giving us the time as of right now from what it seems like it's not giving us the time so we will we will find out a little bit later on this week i feel like i should have that info regardless before it drops so yeah we'll have that info before it drops uh do you know what time they release tom Sachs? as of right now it seems like they're not giving us any time date as of right now but we will get that info sooner or later compacts are coming by the mail nice bg do you rock air max 90s um i did before not so much not not so much now not so much now uh bg what which do you prefer air max 90s or 95s i'd rather go with 90s and someone said someone said something about the casinos will resell be crazy on casinos air max ones i don't know about crazy it's 11 o'clock guys if you guys want to check your guys' sneakers out to see if anything dropped you guys can um i'm tuning in to see if anything is dropping if not then that's pretty much it um but as far as for casinos i'm not gonna see them i'm not seeing them drop i mean um resell for a crazy amount i'm not i'm not seeing them drop uh go for a crazy amount at all at all just simply enough to make some good money i could see them being like around 40 bucks 50 bucks somewhere around there that's that's my prediction on that you guys can at least make something out of them but from what it seems like no restock happening guys from what it seems like nothing is dropping uh so it is going to be a quiet monday but we're going to tune in tomorrow as well um, I'm probably going to stay up just for a couple more minutes to see if there's anything going on on my sources. But more about the Nike Crafts. They're going to be a great, great cop. In my opinion, now now that I understand the value on them, I could definitely, definitely go from maybe solid hold or as, um, as a great person as well. I think that they're easy wearable shoe too. I think they could be an easy wearable shoe. Oh, uh, Bulldog says social status dropped Travis Air Maxes now. Oh, snap. We got to check that out right now. Let's tune in on that. Social status. Let's tune in on that. Releases. Releases. Let's tune in on that. Let's get it. Appreciate the love and support, Bulldog, man. Thank you so much for that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shop, shop, shop. Sneakers. Where they at? Where they at? Hold on, hold on, hold on. They better have not sold out. Is it via draw or is it like first come first serve? Wait, how come they're not doing anything? I'm not seeing anything on my end. Um, Bulldog, if you have Instagram, please DM me to see what's going on with social status when it comes to those Travis Scotts. Let me know, let me know. Uh, Alberto says what the air what about the Air Force One mid chocolates? Do you think they will make some money? It's just a little iffy because chocolate the chocolate pairs, right? It's brown, so it's good for resale like purposes, but it's the Air Force One that's like I don't know. The the Air Force One mid is not so much the most sought after silhouette, so um just something to look after for. I don't think it's gonna be good for resale, but if you guys wanna go for the personal uh, you guys can't. But as far as for resale, I'm not seeing them being a good... Uh, how come I can't find them, man? No, these are the QSs. These are not... Wait, these are it, right? These look nice. These look nice, though. But um, I'm not seeing them being a great for uh, resale. Especially since they're, uh, they're mids. But damn. Actually, the value on these are not that bad. But this is like the pre the pre release value, so we can't really base it off that until the day before the drop. Unfortunate says first come first serve. Oh snap! So it's done. If I join the raffle for the Travis Reverse Mocha's on sneakers, can I also join the raffle on the Travis Scott website? It will be available there too. Yeah, they should be. You should be just fine. You should be, bro. You should be just fine. C J Martin says cap. I don't think they would be capping, man. I sent you a picture on IG. Appreciate that. Can you send the link? while you're at it bulldog or no is that is that not possible okay let me see if i can search it up what's your name bulldog is it rigo oh snap he is right let me see if i can so i can show you guys wait bulldog is it is it possible for me to show it on uh on the stream is that okay uh roko says bro 170 people nice your channel's growing so fast appreciate you guys for tuning in man Thank you guys so much. It's not me, man. It's not me. It's you guys. It's you guys that are helping me out. So I uh, appreciate you guys a thousand percent. 
Bro, I was in line for Travis Scott on social side with ETA less than a minute and still didn't get them. I want to cry. Sheesh. A lot of people followed me here. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. So this is what it was looking like, guys. Check this out. This is... So no one's going to say anything. This is what it looked like. So no one was going to say anything about social status. What the heck, guys? What the heck? Sometimes I'm living in a rock, guys. I'm not the... I'm not Mr. Shock, uh, Mr. Shock Drop King. We could have we could have uh, uh, prepped up for that. Uh, Reddick says, "Can I use? Can I ask you what this stream about? I just came in. I don't know what the stream is about. We're just tuning in. We're just seeing what the vibes are. I mean, they just shock dropped some Travis Scott Air Maxes just now. Uh, can I wait? But don't don't um don't spam the chat with the same question, Reddick. Don't spam the chat with the same Reddick. I feel like people do not like that at all. But shout out to those that copped on uh social status, man." Shout out to the ones that copped on Travis Scott's just now, man. Shout out to you guys. But then again, we didn't hit. I didn't know. I didn't know. No one said anything, guys. Uh, Miguel says, LMAO. Yeah, no teamwork. Come on, guys. Facts, guys. No teamwork. But it's all good. It's all good. Let's actually see. Um, What was it? The brown pair? Travis brown pair. Yeah. Let me see. Let's see. Um, Reg is the shoe plug. Sheesh. Uh, sent the link. Thank you for that, Bulldogs. Appreciate you for that. But it's. I think it's too late for now. Isn't social side botted? Question mark. Could be. Social status is one of those sites that get bot, uh, highly botted too. Let me see. Look, guys, this was the link right here. Shout out to my guy Bulldogs again for giving us the link and whatnot. But um, I think he it was like a last minute thing and it was first come first serve. But this is what it was looking like, guys. It was a shock drop from what it's yeah. I mean, we were not like I said before, we were not expecting that. It was a. Uh, this is why we go live for really because there's stuff like this that happens all the time but we just don't catch it we just don't catch it come on we just don't freaking catch it y'all which sucks but these just dropped man yep it's first come first turn we can't say it's cap either, guys. We can't. We got to give people the benefit of the doubt because uh, there there could be stuff like that. Like that one morning that the off-white, the ICAs freaking restocked, people were saying it was cap and they freaking restocked. Come here. Look, I don't know if you guys know, but I do have a couple of dogs up in here and check this out. This is what they do all the time. Look, wait for it. This was a feisty one. Can you guys see that real quick? Hold on, let me see if I can. Do you see that? It's like dealing with kids. All right. Um, but yeah, that's what it was looking like. Uh, when it dropped, literally just a couple of minutes ago, from what it seemed like, did it drop at 11 or what? Did they drop at 11? What time did the uh, the Travis Scott drop? First bot, first serve. <laughs> That's insane. First bot, first serve. That's OD, guys. That's OD. But it really be like that, though. I'm not even going to lie. It really be like that. Can I ask you guys a quick, quick question? Who here has ever tried botting? Can I can I ask you guys that? Is that cool if I can ask you guys that? I know botting in the, in, for us manual users is like a disgrace and stuff. But please, let me know. Let me know in the chat if you guys have ever tried botting. I know I've never tried botting. I feel like it was too risky to invest in money that I didn't know what was going through. So I, you know, use Soul Retriever. It tells you all the shock drops. I mean, the thing is you have Soul Retriever, right? But I'm in a wait time list. I'm like in a backed up wait time list. So it's like, 
Yeah, I can use Soul Retriever, but again, like, I can't even get in yet. I cannot get in yet, man. Which freaking sucks. I gotta wait like a 5,000 wait time list. But yeah, in the chat, guys, if you guys are new or if you guys are watching, let me know if you guys have ever tried botting. Uh, spam the chat, yes. If you guys have ever tried botting, spam the chat, no, if you guys ever tried botting. I know I've never tried it and I'm not, not going to either. Just because I simply feel like I'd rather just go at it manually and not have to spend money on anything that's not guaranteed. Not to mention, it's like unfair, to be honest. Marcel says, I tried it. It's a mess. Manual is way better. Body is 90% of the time. Not even helpful. I paid for a service a couple of times. Okay. Well, appreciate you guys' honesty. Appreciate you guys, your guys' honesty. I, at least you guys are being uh, upfront with it. Um, Alex says nope. CJ says nope. Yeah, I said I've never I've never done it either. Miles says no. Have you guys have do you guys have friends that bought? Do you are you guys friends with botters? I, I respect whatever they do because it's their money and it's their life, so they can do whatever they want. But at the same time, it's like ah, uh, I feel like people gotta stop stop doing it just because it's unfair for everyone else. You did for a week. I didn't really get anything not worth for me. Interesting. Joseph says no. CJ says no. Uh, no, but I have a friend who does, but he don't buy sneakers. He buys graphic cards for PC. Ah, okay. Well, not bad. At least we don't have to worry about him. <laughs> but then again, like I said before, if you guys bought or whatever, I guess do what you guys do because, again, it's your guys' life. It's your guys' money. No one's here telling you guys what to do. But uh, just... Cut us some manual, some slack, man. We really want to try some shoes on too, man. For sure. She just says, always caught manually. Nice, CJ. Nice. Nadine says, nope. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I'm surprised there's not even one botter up in here. I feel like there is one botter. At least one botter. I feel like doors are open for anyone as long as they're like not being mean. <laughs> Dang. Let me see if I can actually put a pull. Uh, most of my friends could care less about kicks. LOL. That's, yeah. I think I'm the only person out of my close friends group that are like, that's really into shoes. Are, are you guys, do you guys have a group of friends that are into shoes? Like, are you guys all, like all sneakerheads or are you just one, one person out of the bunch that like just specifically is a sneakerhead? Everyone else is just out of the loop when it comes to that. Um, let me actually put, did you cop Air Max? Travis got Air Max this morning. Just now, question mark. All right, let's see the vibes. Um, Reddick says body is expensive as fuck. Yeah, I bet. Oop, my apologies, guys. My apologies, guys. I do not like the curse in the chat or in the in the um in the stream. My apologies. Um, uh, DG says, hey BG, why are the Air Max 90 Curries going for a hundred K on stock? Can you check them out? Um, so as far as if you see a crazy price like that, don't really believe in it. Just because there's just that one crazy buy that has the only pair that just places it up at a random price that doesn't even make sense. So um, I see what you're saying, DG. There's some some shoes that go for like a hundred grand, but it's not really worth a hundred grand. It's just that that person only has that size up on the market, like on StockX or something. They're willing. They're just putting up a crazy price to see a, a big bid for them to uh, cop or for them to make the sale. Uh, Clarissa says, just me, lol. Yeah, I feel like me too. Me too. I do have some friends that that I don't know in person, but I know online that I love shoes. That's where I actually uh, make connections with my, my friends online, but we can call them pin pals. But um, as far as in person, I'm the only one that specifically is loving shoes and all that. I do influence my, my the people around me for shoes. I do let them know, hey, those are some dope shoes. Those are actually worth this amount. Take care of them. Um, brush them out nice and nice, like every now and then. Try to keep them clean. Like those are very nice. But um, other than that, I think I'm the only person that really, really uh, messes with shoes and like knows about the shoes enough to understand what 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 they're about. 
Um, let's see. Uh, when and where did they restock? They restocked on social status. Shout out to my guy, um, the Bulldog. Bulldog, let us know. And I just received a uh, com uh, email from uh, Nike. And it's nothing crazy. It's just a, an ad. Justin says, no, no, no. Oh, this is the chat from below. Look on Adidas confirmed black color phone runners. Yes, Adidas Adidas have does have the confirmed the confirmed. Um, I mean Adidas confirmed that do have the phone runners. Look, this guy wants to play. <laughs> this guy wants to play right now. Look, <laughs> I wish I can show you guys. Look, hold on, hold on. Hey, he wants to play so bad. Look, he's giving me his paw. You guys see him? He wants to play so bad. I'm going to... Don't worry, Chai. His name is Chai Ball. That's... Or Chai. Like, as in Chai Latte. He's very playful. I'm, I'm trying to see if I can pick him up for you guys. Dang, I was on my trip, Dominican Republic, and I saw so much fakes on sneakers. Gotcha. Come on. I can't get him. Um, sneakers, I couldn't believe it. It's normal for them, I guess. Yeah, it is. You know why? Because... Um, they, they don't have enough connections in the U.S. for or uh, enough connections. It's it's okay. I know a lot of friends from DR, and they they say it's the it's it's okay over there. Same with uh, Asia. I feel like it's okay to rock uh, replicas and stuff like that. I guess because um, I have no idea. I, I have no idea, but it's 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 okay over there to do so. And I think it's it's okay for you guys to rock reps as long as you guys are not saying that they're real or you're not. Uh, you know, showing off and stunning it out like it's the real thing. But just, you know. Uh, when did they restock them? Question mark. George, so um, any more drops today? Question mark. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Like, these random ass drops happen, like, random times. Uh, but they they uh, dropped it. I'm not so sure if I already said it to most of you guys, but they dropped on social status. Social status. And they dropped a couple of minutes ago. Uh, Joseph says, I only have one friend who has any interest in shoes and I'm trying to help him get into flipping and investing in sneakers co clothing since he's a big shopper, but he just likes buying. Yeah, I got you, Joseph. Yeah, I, I, I got a bunch of friends that just buy, don't really invest and do anything of that. Uh, just stumbled across your stream. Great vibe. Thank you so much, Clarissa. I appreciate you a thousand percent once again. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe, man. We go live almost all the time. So appreciate you guys for tuning in and supporting the channel. And if you guys are new, please let it be known in the chat like Clarissa just did. Um, Mark says, what restock, LOL? It was the Travis Scott Air Max 1 restock. Uh, they restocked a couple of minutes ago. A couple of minutes ago on um, social status. Jesse says, please explain to me the difference between re replicas and fake. Aren't they both fake at the end of the day? Um, I think so. Um, it's yeah, I think it's the same thing. It's just the wording. Matter of fact, I'm glad that you said fa uh, replica, replica and fake, right? Because people were talking about what's the difference between a bootleg item and a fake item. And um, I think, um, I don't know if you guys have watched this series. It's called, uh, what is it? Rob's 10 or something like that. I don't know. It had involved. I can't remember um netflix let me see if i can put it up netflix series vintage vintage clothes let's see this guy right here this guy slobby's world that's what it is i don't know um I, it, it taught me a lot about bootlegs and what the difference between a bootleg and a and a fake is and i guess like a bootleg is like a customized like fake per se but it's not really a fake in a way it's just a customized work that's not the real thing it's kind of tricky you guys should definitely check it out and it'll definitely like have you learn more about what a bootleg versus a fake is but yeah just a shout out to slobby's world go check that out on netflix it's it's a calm little calm little series it's like only one season long and uh it makes you learn about vintage stuff and like what's the difference between bootleg and a fake and stuff so it's always always a good time to learn something while having fun and watching something great um, but yeah, I think when it comes to replica and fake, I think it's the same thing. It's just wording, wording. Um, Gucci says, I would flip to get the couple of pairs of something else. Not bad. Dang, only 8% copped. Yeah, which is great that no one really capped about it. It's, it's, it's great that no one capped because 8% seems very much, um, very much. It seems like only one person or two people copped from what it looks like. So, 
Uh, let's see. Oh, well, I missed it. Yeah. I'm Gucci. The same thing. Uh, uh, some fakes better than others. Um, I mean, I wouldn't know all that just because, uh, just because, um, I don't really buy, uh, reps or fakes like that. So I wouldn't really know. Shara says it's the same, but reps are supposed to be better quality. Oh, I got you. I got you replica. So it would look exactly the same instead of it being fake. It would just be some off brand type of thing going on. I got you. Train it up on Amma Manier Bricken. Sheesh. Uh, Mom says bootlegs are custom shoes based off the real thing, but they're technically not a fake. There you go. Thank you so much for wording that correctly, Miles. Uh, did you cop them, BG? No, I wish I did. I wish I did, though. We we found out last minute type of thing. Uh, where does it restock? It restocked on um, on social status. It already happened. Uh, someone, I think Bulldog said, what did Bulldog say? Bulldog says, um, sent you the link on IG. Yeah, I think you, um, I think you already did send it to me, right, Bulldog? Hold on. Give me one second, Bulldog. Let me tune in. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Awesome sauce. Thank you so much. Yeah, Bulldog did send me the link. Appreciate you for that, Bulldog. Thank you for that. Shout out to Bulldog, guys. If you guys haven't already, please make sure you guys uh, follow Bulldog on Instagram. I think it's Bulldog's, oh, F, I mean, uh, 4U559. This is what it's looking like. Add to cart, select size, and there's already already an 8.5 and a 9. Only an 8.5, so it's too late right then and there. So it's too late for that right then and there. Appreciate you guys for tuning in and always showing the support as well as giving us what uh, the gist of what's going on. Appreciate you guys for that. But yeah, that's what it's looking like right there. If you're for referring to uh, Slobby Robbie, uh, that dude sucks. He's hella... Is he really Chucky? I've only seen him on on um, on Netflix series, so I don't know. I don't really know much about him like that, but hey, I definitely learned a lot from him. I'm gonna drop a trainer now. Thank you so much for that, JB. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Yo, BG, uh, when are you going to drop a video on the new Supreme Face collab? I'm gonna. Sh I should be dropping it either today or tomorrow. Yeah, I should be dropping a day uh, today or tomorrow. I'm Gucci says a custom shoe usually starts with the authentic pair. Fakes are just fakes. Uh, Splitter says, are you going for the easy form runners restock? Yes, I will be going for them, Splitter. Bulldog says, um, yeah, they had a whole a whole size run. Nice, 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 nice. Put that link in the chat. I think it would be too late, but I got you guys right now. I got you guys right now. If you guys truly want to try, I got you guys right now. So this is the link for Amamanier. Copy, but I think it's too late, but go ahead and try if you guys do. That's the link right there. Shout out to Bulldogs for the link, guys. Appreciate you, Bulldogs, for uh, for always showing the support in the channel, man. It's definitely being recognized. Um, let me see. Yeah, so that's it right there. So go click on that, and it should bring you guys right then and there. Uh, refresh the page. Someone's probably had uh, credit issues. LOL. Yeah, that's the link right there, guys. If you guys are trying to cop, go right ahead for it. This product is not uh, eligible for international shipping um select sizing and it says out of stock now it says out of stock now it says out of stock dang recap that's foul lol <laughs> uh tudo says sold out yeah definitely did sell out definitely did sell out if you guys are tuning in once again man let me know in the chat if you guys have any questions i'll try my best um to uh to just recap everything what's been going on and stuff. So, so far we've had two restocks on Travis Scott's. You see, this is the type of stuff why I tend to go live even though it's a calm Monday that's nothing happening. There's stuff like this that drops and like we be missing it out. But on top of that, we, we're always going live for it. So, it's always great to be going live for them. Um, so, if you guys are new up in here, man, man, make sure you guys subscribe, man. We do go live for almost every single morning, man, for show. Uh, ben says, sub BG, happy money to y'all. Casinos cop or drop? Ben, good morning to you. I would say uh, cop. Casinos are definitely a cop. Casinos are definitely a cop. Uh, I would say you guys can do a quick flip off of those or a great personal. Either or, you guys are doing just fine. Uh, let's see. George says, haven't hit on shoes in two months. Any advice to keep my spirits up high? Um, LOL. Uh, George, uh, chin up 
and go with every drop without feeling too bad about your L's because there will be a W coming up very soon. Who knows? Maybe all these upcoming L's that you've been taking is going to be a great big W for the Travis Scotts, you know? So just keep chin up and keep going, man. Brush those L's off your shoulders and you keep on going. That's how I go, man. Even when I take a W, I don't get too hyped up about it. I just simply move on to the next one. Simple as that. Um, let me see. Haven't hit. Um, Shara says, you put in the raffles for the foam runners? Question mark. No, not yet. Not yet, Shara. I'm going to be doing that on my second stream just so I can have you guys um, up to date with everything in order. Because right now, I feel like I'd be out of control and giving you guys dates here and left and right. After this stream, I'll take the time and organize everything. So that way, my second stream, I can put you guys on for the raffles for uh, for uh, foam runners. For foam runners, nonetheless. So thank you for that question, by the way. Let's go, Queen E. Um, I'm Gucci says salute. Catch, a, uh, catch you next time, B. No problem, Gucci. No problem. Uh, recap says saw those Philly dunk lows in the thumbnail, so I had to pop in. Yeah, so those actually released um, this morning on the EU sneakers app, and we went live for it, and it was extremely limited for EU. It sucked because a lot of people did not hit. I think I've only seen one person hit this morning. So definitely, definitely it's going to be, I feel like if it was limited over there in EU, uh, then it's going to be a little bit tougher over here for us because MLB teams, that's a ba that's an American sport. And these are MLB team based shoes. I think these are going to go on like that. So just be very mindful. These, I feel like are going to be a great long-term investment. Definitely. Uh, stay laced up. 92 says they sold that. Yeah. Adrian says, what's up, BG from work dot, dot, dot. Sheesh, Adrian, what you up to right now, man? What's it looking like at work? Let me know, man. Uh, where's the Travis Scott restock sneakers or did it happen already? It, Bradley it already happened twice. There was an Amman year restock for the trainers and there was a Air Max one restock for uh, social status. Uh, brush up, brush the L's. Hell yeah. There as you should guys brush them off, man. And we on to the next one. Miles says, why is resale solo on the Onyx phone runners? Um, I'm not so sure why I'm not so sure why, but I think that, uh, they would, um, I think that as far as long-term investments for Onyxes, it's not the best one. Maybe because they've been doing, they're going to, uh, I think that uh, stock numbers are going to be pretty high for them. So uh, people are trying to just pretty much try to sell their pairs so they're lowballing one another. That's what I could see, Miles. That's what I could definitely see. Let's see. Does anyone else have any other questions? Please let it be known in the chat, y'all. There's no such thing as a dumb question up in here, man. Ask away. We're all here to help, man. And once again, guys, thank you guys so much for showing love and support in the channel. We have a hundred thumbs up up in here. Thank you guys so much for the thumbs up. I'm very grateful for everything, man. Thank you guys. Uh, I put in two so far. I need to win one raffle. Um, well, Shara, tune in on the next stream and I should have the raffles. Maybe, hopefully, there should be some other ones that... Uh, that you haven't entered in as of right now uh i mean the easy one probably would be ama Manier. that's a good one i think sns will be having one if not they already should have um a raffle up for them as well as if you guys are interested in the uh air jordan 4 zen masters there's still and uh there's still a raffle up on end that's going to end in two days and 15 hours so definitely check them out and see if uh see if you guys can uh uh, if you guys can uh, grab a pair of these, man, these are going to be great. These are going to be great. I can tell them already. Appreciate the 107 thumbs up, guys. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Evan says, dude, what is Travis Scott restocking? Question mark. Better not be my shoes. Uh, Evan, I think uh, they were your shoes, man. They were trainer Scott. Uh, they were the trainers. Uh, they restocked on Amaniere and um, the, uh, the Air Maxes restocked on uh, social status. Uh, Adrian says, Go Warriors sneaker market is down right now. Yeah, definitely. Very much definitely. Batman Kicks says, SNS is up. Nice. Thank you for that, Batman. Thank you for that. Best way to buy sneakers in the EU? Question mark. Probably in person and um, maybe, I would say just in person, to be honest. I wouldn't know so much about EU because I'm located in the United States. Um, let's see. Uh, Tudor says, Brown Trainers on AMA. Oh snap, Brown Trainers restocked on two on Amma Manier. Holy snap, there's another restock. It's too late by now. It's too late by now. Let me see what the vibes are right now. It's probably too late by now. Let me see what the vibes are. Damn, if only I can find it. 
Let me see releases. Oh, come on. It's not even popping up shop. Footwear. Sneakers. Are they not up in here no more? I can't find them. Yeah, we definitely need a link for that. Definitely need. We're Bulldog when you need them. Um, these shoes of the year for me. Nice, nice. Uh, foam runners run true to size? Question mark. From what people are telling me, the, the uh, foam runners that are up to date from this year, they run true to size now. But I'm not so sure because I've never had a pair. I've never had a pair. Uh, nah, they won't cart. She can't add to cart. Oh, snap. My St. Patrick's Day SB Dunk coming in today from Go. Woot, woot. Nice. Recap says, BG, what are your thoughts about the Black Canvas Force drop in late August? Or have you seen them yet? Yes, I have seen them. They're a must cop. Black Canvas 4s are a must cop. They're a great investment because they're an all black shoe, pretty much. And it's a 4. Hello, I need a wrench, fam. My apologies, Bulldog. I got you right now. I got you right now because you've been providing for the... um, Right there, bro. That's the wrench. Bulldog, you've been wrenched up right there, Bulldog. So if you want to drop the links, that would be amazing. But appreciate you for always showing the love, man. You earned, you earned that wrench, for sure. For sure. Uh, nah, they won't cart. My St. Patrick's Day SB Dunks coming in today from Go. Woo woo. Um, so like I was saying, recap. So Black Canvas 4, since it's an all black shoe, it tends to do very, it's going to do very, very well. And not to mention, it's a 4. So they're going to do just fine. They're going to do just fine. And it's going to be a great long-term uh, investment. You need to search Travis Scott. Let me see. I don't think it's gonna pop up though like that, will it? Oh snap, you're right. Thank you for that, appreciate that. 1000%, oh, there's still some sizes up, man. There's still some sizes up. Now, am I going to cop is the real question. Empty, wait, it says your card is empty though, but I've added it up, so what's it gonna be? Size 10? yeah it's not adding it's not adding up uh, lt man i'm jelly one day i'll have a wrench dot dot made up uh what up bg kicks and bg kicks family lt man welcome back to the stream man welcome back to the stream how are you and shout out to chicago i have a list for foam runners uh foam raffles social status and foot patrol nice 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 shara awesome sauce awesome sauce so when it comes to the wrenches guys i will be adding up more people for the wrenches but as of right now i kind of have to cool down until we hit that 10k subscriber mark once i feel like we hit 10k subscribers that's when i feel like i need to add more people bulldog was giving us the info on these travis gods so i had to gift them that uh oh snap bulldog you did not have to but you did um he just donated two dollars to the stream thank you so much bulldog so as far as giving out wrenches, I will be giving out wrenches to people that I have seen. Shara, you're pretty soon going to have a wrench. But as of right now, I really do need to just focus on uh, building up the, uh, or not just us, but I mean, not just me, but us, build up the uh, the channel. And once we hit that 10K mark, I can start adding up more people for the wrenches. But uh, nonetheless, those that I see here almost all the time, I will be giving you guys a wrench because you guys will deserve it. I just can't be handing them out like hotcakes because then I feel like I would have to hand them out to everyone like hotcakes. So I just want to um, I just want to provide wrenches to those that have been providing links towards the channel for us to help. Those are going to get the wrenches. But um, but yeah, uh, Miles says, what do you mean by wrench? It means um, the mods to add as a mod add as a mod i feel like someone else actually asked me about the jackie robinsons just a while ago i don't know if i skipped out on that kobe one kenobi says can't add to car well yeah we can't add to the cart y'all which sucks add to car this product is already sold out that's why um let me see bro i think the saturn air max was only good investment to wear and not for resale <laughs> uh no form runners run small by one bigger size oh, okay awesome size awesome sauce search travis scott draws close though thank you for that guys thank you for that uh wait so is the actual restock where it affect the prices or is it just old pairs that didn't release that's a great question evan i'm not so sure about any of that to be honest 
Joe says, been taking L's after L's. I guess they're saving my W for the Travis's in July. Yes, any news on that release? I did drop a video for you guys on Travis Scott's um, literally 17 hours ago. So if you guys want to tune in on that, but uh, they will be dropping on July 21st. It's only a minute and 42 seconds long. So if you guys want to take the time of day and watch that to get a little calm little recap of what will be happening, that's also great. But um, yeah, so it will be dropping July 21st in full family size run. For sure. For sure. Uh, LT man says, mmm, hotcakes. <laughs> uh, Sam says, yeah, put in for the draw for phone runners on AMA. Yeah, definitely. Um, Archie says, why the Saturn's gone so, so, uh, wait, wait, wait. Why have the Saturn's gone down in value while the other colorways are still at steady price? Question mark. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure, Archie. Not so sure. Uh, Shard says, no worries, man. I'm just having, um, I'm just here enjoying the, uh, the contact. Um, I usually wear size six and a half wide. So should I get the size seven in foam runners? Question mark. Did the price of foam runners increase? Question mark. So are you talking about the onyxes that are going to be releasing this week? Also, Shara, I do feel like you will get your wrench very soon. So don't worry. You will have your guys' wrench. And I do see a lot of people that have been supporting the channel that will get their wrenches. So don't worry, guys. In due time. In due time. Um, let me see. So, um... As far as for onyxes, let's check it out, shall we? Um, and Shara says she's a size 6.5 wide. So, hmm. 6.5 wide. But I don't think they sell them in, um, I don't think they have sell them in a size, um, six, six and a half wide or half a size. So I get a seven in foam runners. So if you're a six and a half Y, I would say, yeah, I would definitely say go up then. Because if someone's saying that they run small, I've never had phone runners. But if, they, if they're saying they run small, then definitely go up the size, not down the size. So definitely go up. I would say, yeah, go for a seven. And uh, did the prices increase? I mean, we can check right now. It seems like they've been going down as close as the uh, release date. So in case you don't hit, try to buy it like a couple of days after the release. Contagious Kick says, top of the morning, fam. Top of the morning to you guys, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in once again. Wait, BG, did you cop any Air Maxes? No, I did not. I did not. Um, Evan says, honestly, don't see the Saturns going below 300, only rising to 500 plus. Yeah, I can see that happening. I ho I would hope not no Travis Scott go lower than 300. I think that'd be crazy. I mean, the trainers have, but the they're trainers. They're not so much sought after for. Uh, since we know about the Philly Dunks, has there be uh, any new info on the Dodgers? That, I wish I had the answers to those, man. But we're still doing research and we're still waiting to see what's the confirmed date for EU, that is. Because um, it seems like first it's going to be EU and then us. That's how it usually goes down. Uh, Clarissa says, good question. I'm a 5Y and never had foam runners. Yeah, I've never had foam runners either. But from what it seems like, people are saying to go up the size. Go up a size. Um, it's a men's size. Uh no seven. Oh, that's right that's right that's right that's right uh did you see did you see the nike tom Sachs release this friday didn't seem uh didn't see a time yet yeah chad uh that's what we were talking about earlier the stream uh the tom Sachs still don't have a time yet but they are going to be dropping it june 10th which is on friday i believe i believe um, classify says my uh, I'm on Maneri twos still don't come, but they gave me my tracking. Do you think twos price will go up over time? They should be going up, but as of right now, if you're not willing to wait a while, it's not going to be going up like that, just like that. So just be mindful of that. Um, just be very much mindful. Um, as far as for twos. I would say pick them up for the personal first and if you truly like them well then you have a great pri uh, a great personal as well as something to make some revenue off of and then in the years to come but if you're not able to hold those pairs for a while 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 extremely extremely long time then i wouldn't suggest going for twos and as far as for quick sell i would just quick sell them then and there if you're not patient enough because you're better off making money now than waiting a couple of months and not and possibly losing money than actually making more money than to selling them right away you know because i've done that before where i didn't sell them right away and i've actually lost money because i could have made more money off the rip off when the when the uh, shoe was um 
just you know like late the the release happened like right then and there you know so let's see uh adrian says have a good day bro keep up the good job here bro thank you so much adrian thank you so much and have a great day too man um let's see what else i know people have been men's size starts at seven yeah um i don't have any foams either i thought phones was 70 dollars, but i see the r90 everywhere now yeah is Amma Manier safe? Yes, it is safe. Very much legit. Uh, men's size starts at seven. So, um, yeah, I think foam runners were always more expensive than uh, than uh, a Yeezy slides. So, um, as far as I'm not so sure, because again, I've never really bought in uh, foam runners, so I would not be so sure. If anything, if I were you guys, I would definitely look into. Um, um youtube reviews on how foam runners feel and how they fit and then go based off of that before you guys uh end up buying because again my my sizing i have wide feet but i could literally fit into a size nine but due to me having a si uh, a wide foot i can fit into a size ten and a half so sizing for me is way different than for you guys so it, it's it, it differs for every person so i can't really tell you guys what size to go for especially since I've never even tried on the shoe in person. Recap says, BG, could you pull up the Jackie Robinson dunk? Some places are saying that they're going to price insane like 1K, but then others are saying around 110. So as far as the Jackie Robinson, retail price should be around $110, but it's the resale value that right now it's going for a crazy amount. That's what that's what they mean. That's what they mean. So uh, let me see if they actually have it up on... Uh, yeah, they do have them. They got the GS pairs, so though. Do they have Booyah? So this is what they mean by $1,000. So this is how much the, the aftermarket is going for, right? This is how much they're going for. But retail price should be around $110, where it shows right here. You guys see that? Uh, Jorgen says, go half a size up if you're in between. Yeah, that's what we've been at, uh, we've been saying. Uh, Jorgen, great, great advice. Or full, uh, full size up for wide feet. Yep. Uh, half sizes go up yeah same with bg i've got wide feet but i can't fit uh i can fit in a size nines sheesh nah i can't it'd be too tight it'd be too tight the shoe would freaking just quick rip in half or something uh where was the restock there was i think multiple restocks going on at the same freaking time so ama had uh the trainers ama had the trainers do they still have the air maxes they just oh no this was the draw but they have the trainers and social status had the air max one brown in the brown colorway in the brown colorway appreciate you guys for always tuning in once again guys thank you guys so much for tuning in i can't believe i'm still up to be honest we went live very freaking early we went live around 2 a.m eastern standard time for the eu drop and we're still going at it strong we're still going at it strong, but it's because of you guys. You guys keep me up to date. And you guys keep me motivated to stay on and stuff. So thank you guys so much. Without you guys, the channel wouldn't be the same. It would not be the same. It would not be as fun as how it is always every time we tune in on live. So thank you guys. Um, Let's see. Gut says, best tip to start buying resell. Buy items that or buy uh, shoes that are uh, very low in the retail price like dunks. Dunks are preferably one of the best shoes to invest in because they have a, a very cheap retail price which is like around a hundred dollars a hundred dollars so that's always good buy low and sell high that's that's the tip that's the tip for you clarissa says i wish we got the zen master fours here we will in due time in due time i feel like we will but uh europe usually gets those shoes before us right there i think europe is going to have them on thursday we will be going live for europe drops as well guys i gotta show show love to eu as well we can't just go live for us we got to do eu their uh their lives as well we all, we're here for the community for the us and eu and other parts in the world man i'm trying to support everyone definitely going to be going live for them too uh lmao the trainers are now below 200 yeah in most sizes right in most sizes which is crazy now would be the time to cop trainers now would be the time to cop some travis scott trainers i think that's the perfect time Let's see. Look at that. Yep. Now would be the time to cop. Appreciate you guys a thousand percent, guys. 
Um, so yeah, uh, let's see what time it is. Dang, we've been here for quite some time. Appreciate you guys for always tuning in. Um, guys, so I'm going to take a calm little breather. I'm going to see if I can make a video for you guys for today. And um, we're going to see how the vibe goes on later tonight's stream. I will be providing you guys the Onyx raffles for you guys. I'm going to try to put as many raffles as I can for you guys uh, in organized fashion so I don't get it mixed up and feel overwhelmed with everyone up in here. Uh, Chow says, Foot Patrol, you can enter the raffle on the Zen Masters. They ship to the U.S. Nice, Shara. Thank you guys so much for that. Shara, if you can... If you can, if you have Instagram, please DM me. And so that way we can drop the links from uh, the DMs from uh, Instagram. And I'll definitely give you a shout out on your Instagram as well if you have one. Definitely, definitely, definitely. But that's pretty much it, guys. I'm about to clock out. Um, I will be going back on live later tonight or later in the evening or in the afternoon to touch bases on some of the drops. Demetrius, what is up, brother man? What is up? Um, Evan says, can't wait for the New York stream. I'll see you later. Bet 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 evan uh miles says peace appreciate you guys i paid 360 not bad nothing too crazy could be worse archie uh king mo says how do i feel about the citrus sevens coming out in july not so much of a fan of the citrus sevens but i am a fan of sevens in general but yeah guys love you guys so much man thank you guys for tuning in uh this is all my social medias i'm gonna be leaving it out and i'm gonna leave the chat for you guys too if you guys want to talk and chit chat and whatnot would love it for you guys to subscribe if you guys can bg kicks is out love you guys see you guys on the next one peace